navigate to Aspire Coffee. Go ahead and press the brake to activate drive. Engage FSD. Got a car pulling out. And let's see if she'll take off from a stop. We can see her trying there. Let's go ahead and give it just a quick press on throttle. There we go, and we're off. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. We have got a brand new update. We are super excited. Let me turn off this heater real quick. Hi, everyone. Ooh, it is hot. We are on 13.2.7, supervised full self-driving in the Cybertruck, heading to Aspire Coffee. We're gonna be heading from Aspire to the West Tropical Supercharger. Currently, we have 47 miles on the battery, which is 15%. So once we get to Aspire, I want to see if this new update will actually pull us in and park us. Most likely not. And then from there, we'll head to the West Tropical Supercharger. See if she'll pull us in there. We'll test out an auto park and get some juice. We did drive over here on this new version. And she did amazing. No, no disengagement. Looks like she's going the, the long route out of here. Ooh, it sure did. Warm. warm up yes yeah. I want to see on this version it's a little bit better around the turns I only took a couple turns this is our first impressions drive <clears throat> it right, looks like we had the phantom blinker on there for a moment so just one mile two minutes till we get to aspire coffee It is Valentine's Day. The rains have come through and the skies are blue. It is beautiful out here. It is beautiful. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Yeah, great Valentine's Day. We've been waiting for clear skies for so long. It's been so gray in Las Vegas. Over 200 days without rain. 200 days without rain will sure make for some dusty conditions in the desert. It sure is. Look at all the snow caps on the mountains. It's beautiful. And these huge cumulus clouds or whatever they are in the background. Let me know down below what type of clouds those are, but they're huge. Yeah, I almost forgot what a blue sky looks like. It's been so <laughs> gray. All right, keep an eye on this corner. Pretty close. If you yes. looked on that side screen, so let's be careful around the curbs going forward. But I want to say those about an inch when I was looking at the camera there from that rear tire, which is too close for comfort. I agree. The Model 3 on 13.2.7 is performing amazing. Yes, we recently got that update. Yeah, it almost feels like you're riding in the Robo Taxi now. The way it's so uh, smooth, they turned up the smoothness pretty high on it. All right, what are we doing here? We're just doing 26 and a 35, so we're creeping here. I want to say it's because of the nav data. Do you see how it showed us in the other lane for a moment? Well, this lane is kind of blocked off. All right, she did do a phantom blinker. <coughs> Notice the construction. That sun sure is hot. All right, now we're pulling into a spire. Let's see if she can put us into a parking spot. It's a cool little motorcycle. <laughs> little pit bike. All right, she's doing something. It looks like she's trying to go for a spot. And not too bad. All right, go ahead and uh, disengage Christy and pull around this side real quick. So she was going for it. It's just not there yet. Navigate to West Tropical Supercharger. Go ahead and re-engage. All right, we're back on. Got some pedestrians crossing. So 4.5 miles, eight minutes to the West Tropical Supercharger. Can we get there with zero disengagement? All right, we, looks like we have a gap, but she's not doing it. There's a truck coming. 
after this truck, no cars. A little hesitant there, we're not moving. Let's just wait just a second. Is there anyone behind us? No one behind us yet. Let's go ahead and bump the throttle. So this is gonna be intervention number one. All right, we bumped it and now we're moving. We are in the standard profile. Let's check our offset for speed. We're at 15% offset, and we do still have the expanded full self-driving visualization, but it doesn't work. You see that? As soon as you close it, it should go back into full screen. I love that for the videos. Now, this standard behavior, getting into the middle lane, I don't really like that. I'd rather just stay here on the inside lane for our exit. I say I don't like it, but it's because it's not typical behavior for my driving style. I don't know. I guess if it did it every single day, I would probably get used to it. <laughs> Got a lot of rocks in the back of this truck. Let's put it into hurry mode. Let's see if she'll go past them. All right, we're in hurry mode now. She's still merging behind. That's fine. And that's kind of, I wasn't really paying attention, but that's kind of what I don't like about the hurry behavior is it kind of tends to uh, cut off cars like really close on the rear end. Let's go ahead and put it back into standard mode. Three point three miles, five minutes on route. Got a little bit of construction cones. So I was just reading some of the release notes and they're kind of the same from the last couple of dot versions, but one that kind of gets my eye is improved camera, oh no, no, excuse me. It's dynamic routing around road closures, which displays them along the route, the affected route, when they're detected by the fleet. So that tells me that in the future, the fleet is gonna communicate with on routes and I think that'll be the beginning of like a Tesla map. Because we gotta get the navigation sorted. In a robo-taxi world, we cannot get lost. <laughs> kind of makes me think if the Waymo's ever had issues routing long distances, you know, or going the long way versus a normal route. Let's go ahead and put it into hurry mode, see if we get across here. Kind of doing 60 and a 65. Yeah. All right, she's picking up. I do like that standard behavior, kind of just pacing back. Sometimes we've seen it on the freeway too, kind of merging, kind of like a hurry behavior. So the new standard is almost like a mix between hurry and standard. But in that situation, she was just planted in the lane. We also seen that on hurry recently, where it was in the fast lane, moved over and stayed planted in the middle lane. So they are tweaking the speed profiles. Taking the Centennial Center Boulevard exit. Let's see how she comes in. Don't disengage. All right, so we're doing about 65. Good slowdown now. I don't mind as long as I can feel it slowing down. So that nice, that was good for me. How'd that feel for you? 
Yes, that was not bad at all. What's scary is when she's doing 65, 70, all the way up into that turn, and you don't feel oh. any dis, any type of a regen breaking, and yeah, then I don't she just. Like that. My oh. God. oh, looks like we got an edge case here, so we do have an, uh, an accident that just happened. I'm going to disengage and get around this. All right, let's go straight. Yeah. Yeah. All right, re-engage. All right, press the throttle. All right, She's maps off. Maps haven't re- Okay, now we did... We did, how do you call that? Re- whoa, I can't even think of myself. Reroute. Reroute it. There we go. Yeah, there was a bad accident right there. Must have just happened, but then it they did were. Did just happen? Yes. They don't have the lanes closed off yet. There was only one police there. Mm -hmm. All right, full stop. We have cross traffic. This car is also turning left. Right. Our turn, and we're clear. Very good. Cybertruck, a.k.a. parking lot queen. <laughs> Just slow and methodical. Forty-four miles. All right, a lot going on here. Four-way stop, our turn, perfect. Now, I have a lot to say about driving slow in general, but in the parking lots, I don't mind. going around the side here. Gonna be pulling into the supercharger. 44%, 14% on the battery. All right, let's go ahead and once we pull through, disengage and go straight. Let's try on an auto park. She was trying to go that way. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Be careful with the doors. Let's get her plugged in. Now I'm curious if we can hit 250 kilowatts at 14% battery. It did precondition a little bit on the route over here. And let's see what we do here. Uh, we do have it set for 100% now. Slowly ramping up. An hour and 15 minutes to 100. 55 minutes to 90, so 20 minutes to get from 90 to 100. 80 is going to be your best bet. 40 minutes to charge up. We're at 202 kilowatts, 204. Let's see if we can hit the 250. It doesn't look like it. We have, but we did pull in with about 14% battery today, so yeah. we're at 15 now. 213. And that's going to wrap it up. 216 kilowatts. It'll probably get a few more, but thank you so much for watching. This is 13.2.7. We're super stoked to do some more testing with it. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll see you on the next one. Have Bye a great day. Guys.